Alex Ah, oh, this must be the new boyfriend, is it? Oh, Dad. Oh, Roy. <laughs> oh, nothing to be embarrassed about. Now oh, she's a good-looking girl, just like her mother, eh? <laughs> oh, Roy. You know, Mrs. Teagle and I were about your age when we started going out together. <laughs> Movies, dancing, tongue kissing. Oh, Dad. Even, <laughs> even sexual intercourse in a car, if my memory serves. <laughs> Roy. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's nothing embarrassing about sexual intercourse. She's of age. You've had your period, haven't you? <laughs> That's enough, Roy. Well, I just, I just don't want any daughter of mine to be confused about her sexuality. You know, if I'd have talked to my parents when I got my first erection, then I've got no doubt that my fears of masturbation would have been significantly eased. <laughs> of course, in our day, you couldn't even say the word clitoris at the dinner table. <laughs> Thank God times have changed, eh? <laughs> and if my daughter wants to bonk her brains out with this young man, then I'd rather she do it under my roof and with our blessing than bent over the bench seat of a falcon like your mother and I. <laughs> Dad, Dad, Simon is just a friend. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Not gay, is he? Oh, Dad. No, nothing embarrassing about being homosexual. In fact, your mother toyed with lesbianism for a few years when she was young. Even I knew the, the love that dare not speak its name. Boy, that's was, enough. I faced it cr what? <laughs> Sir, I want to assure you that I am extremely attracted to your daughter and while I have some feelings of respect for her as a person, I will not let that stand in the way of my insatiable desire to get her in the cot and roger her stupid. <laughs> well, you've eased my mind. All right, well, you kids go out and have a good time, OK? Make sure she's home by five in the morning. Yes, sir. All right? Yep. OK, and uh, 